Hey, Shalonda Gordon here, and today I just want to answer a question that I got. The question was, when did you become comfortable with doing videos? Now, make sure you pay close attention to this entire video, because at the end, I'm going to answer that question for you. Yet first, let's talk about the importance of doing videos, as far as being an internet marketer, an affiliate marketer, a network marketer. All in all, guys, videos are king. They're like clutch, right? So first, initially, when I started doing videos, I only did it because everybody said that's where the money was. Everybody said that's where you would get leads from. Everybody said, everybody said, you get the point I'm trying to get at. Yet, honestly, I wasn't quite ready. Now, if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, you can go ahead and click the little bubble right there, and it's going to show you my very first video. That link is going to take you to my very first video. And I've had this same YouTube channel since I started. And honestly, if you look at that first video, you're going to be like, oh, whoa, my girl was not quite ready, right? Yet, ultimately, a few things took place. A few things took place that actually changed everything as to how I do videos, as to what makes me comfortable behind the camera. Because honestly, it's always been me talking to a camera, right? And for you, it'll be you talking to a camera, right? So, and then all these people see it. So what are you thinking about when the video starts? Like, how do you really get comfortable with it? You want me to tell you some things? It happens when you're comfortable with you. When you had a little bit of time with the man or woman, lady in the mirror, and you realize who you are, and regardless of what anybody else thinks, you're going to be you. Now, honestly, I can sit here and completely tell you anything you've seen of me prior to 2014. So anything since before 2014, all of that was only a piece of me. I still wasn't being completely transparent, except for maybe one or two when I'm talking about my kids. When I talk about my kids, it kind of comes out. That's my why. That's why I do what I do, right? Yeah, ultimately, they were not really me. I wasn't really comfortable behind the camera like I am today. See, last weekend, I went on to this event. And events are important, guys. You never know how your life is going to change. You never know what experience is going to shift and cause you to do and be who you were created to be. Okay, I went to an event and the event was all great and dandy. Yet some other things happened kind of behind the scenes at that event. These things caused me to understand that I am who I am. And you know what? It's okay. It's okay. It's time to just be me. And once I let go of all that weight, that's what was keeping me from being free, was being concerned with how other people perceived me, being concerned with what other people thought about me, being concerned with, am I hurting this person or am I hurting that person? When I realized whether you try to or not, people, people, and we cannot control them. I cannot control them, right? I cannot control how they perceive me. And honestly, at this point, I don't even care. I don't even care. Now I can be free and be me. You understand what I'm saying? Those who know me and love me, they know me well. And they love me hard. You know what I'm saying? And I'm the same way back and they know that. And that's all that really matters. Anybody else, you got something to say? You can comment on the bottom of this post. Ain't scared, ain't worried about it, right? But that's what made it so I could be comfortable behind a video camera right here talking to you right now. That did it. And, and it's interesting because before that, I didn't know what it was. I can sit here and tell you this shift is going to take place when this situation happens and you decide that you're going to stop being concerned with other people and just be you, right? Just be you. I didn't know. And it's so amazing because now I look forward to turning on the camera. Y'all ain't going to lie. You can see some of them videos. You're going to see that I was not feeling it at all. So you ask me, what, when did you become comfortable? comfortable behind the camera. When did that take place? It took place probably about a week and a half ago. A week and a half ago. Now today is February 1st, 2014, and you'll see I have quite a few videos on my, on my YouTube right now. So even though I wasn't comfortable, I did not do it. There are some things you're not comfortable doing. Do it anyways. There are some things that, you know, you're not really feeling it. So do it Anyways, I wouldn't be able to sit here behind this camera talking to you right now with this confidence, with this assurance of who I am, had I not done it a few hundred times before when I wasn't comfortable. Had I not done it a hundred times or so before when I wasn't comfortable. Some people can turn the camera and they're like that, like that, they got it, right? Some of us, it take a little bit of time and that's okay. Keep doing it and doing it and doing it. 
until that situation happens. And you never know when it's going to happen. So go to the events. You never know which one is going to change your life. You never know when you're going to be somewhere, when you decide to show up. And something shifts inside of you. And now you can be comfortable in that thing that you never thought you'd be comfortable doing. And this is one of those things, y'all, I honestly did not think that day would come. So I hope that answers the question as to when did you get comfortable doing videos? You know, I got comfortable and, and I know a lot of information. We all learn things. We become experts in certain areas, techie areas, marketing areas, communication areas, you know, different areas. Yet, honestly, being comfortable, being behind a camera for me came from being comfortable, being okay to be me. Being okay to be me. And it's very interesting because I remember, you know, how the first time you do something, the response you get, well, I'm going to tell y'all a little something, y'all, you know, you can take it or leave it. Again, I'm just being myself, right? I remember when um, October last year, I got on stage for an Empowered Network event and I got on stage and that was me at all. I mean, I was just me. I was not scared. I wasn't frightened. I wasn't worried about nothing. I just told the truth and I was just myself. Yet still after that event, I wasn't giving that through my videos. I was still holding back something, holding back something. Yet on that stage, I got a response that made me feel great about being me right? Being me. Yet then I was myself for a little while and somebody came across me and said something that basically came across as, oh, you ain't, you too much, or, you know, you this, you that. You know, people putting their own little opinions on you, right? Without even inquiring as to what's going on in your heart or mind. You know, it leaves you think, well, maybe I should go back and not, mm, maybe that's just too much for people, right? And, and I went back a little bit. So that was October. Now it's February. Now I'm like, you know what? I get it. I get it doesn't matter what anybody says. I get it. And I remember when I was younger and it took me a long time. I used to smoke cigarettes and it took me a long time to quit smoking cigarettes because my first time I smoked a cigarette, I was nine years old. Yes, I said it nine. I grew up in Germany. Now, those of you who are 90s babies, y'all don't understand. Back in the 70s, and 80s, everybody was smoking. All right. Cigarettes. So it wasn't like, you know, oh my God. No, no. It was, oh my God, you not. Right. So just so we clear on that. Right. And y'all that are 70 babies and y'all know what I'm talking about. So everybody was smoking cigarettes. And in Germany, I grew up in Germany. In Germany, you could buy cigarettes at the at the bus stop. So there was every like block and a half, you could buy a pack of cigarettes, right? So my babysitter had brought me out and we were out in this field and there were all there were Germans, they were all kind of teenagers, they were all German around, everybody speaking German or whatever. And that was my first time having a cigarette. So I remember, you know, I took the cigarette and I inhaled it. And you, if any of y'all have ever smoked a cigarette for the first time, you know, like your lungs feels like it's going to come out your chest, right? So I was coughing, 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 and it hurt so bad. Yet, everybody was like, yay, go Shalanda, say good, say good. And say good means very good in German. So everybody was like congratulating me and like, yeah, you did it, you did it. Now, understand, it was the first time I'd ever inhaled a cigarette, but the response, the response was so great that over time, it took me years. I went through smoking for years. I was smoking as a teenager, smoking, smoking, smoking. It took me years to stop doing that, right? Now I'm no longer a smoker, but then again, society's changed on the rules of smoking cigarettes, right? You see what I'm saying? So I'm not, I don't do that anymore. Yet I want to, y'all hear my oven going off, but I wanted to share that with you to let you know when you first come out on your videos and it's your first video and you know that's you and you're transparent, Leave a comment right here on mine saying, Shalonda, I did it. So I can come and see it and show you mad love because congratulations. Welcome to coming out and being who you are. And who you are is amazing. And that's who people deserve to see. That's who people are waiting for. It's just you being you. Now, make it a great day. I gotta go get this food for these kids because you know I'm a single mom. so And we ain't got the maid yet. You know what I'm saying? But she coming because I don't really feel that whole cooking all the time. So I'll talk to y'all later. See you soon. Keep smiling.